guys welcome back to seapolis 2 episode 3 how are you doing today guys behind me check this out we got a monstrosity a monstrosity now stay tuned to see how i built it and what's it doing let's get on to it guys guys check out this square it's so perfectly fit anyways guys before we continue can you guess how many levels i have well let's see how much i got oh my god anyways guys let's get to it all right guys the goal for this episode is to automate poor transformation powder poor organic matter also automating copper coal and tin and of course lava we'll need lava guys because these flax hammers need power all right guys first thing i want to do is get some flint now i believe eight stacks should be enough and the infinity wand is just absolutely nuts noise Let's see how many hammers will we need. Oh, not many guys. What was it like? Two? Anyways, I set up a chest. This will go into the middle clicker and they should see through the gravel. Next thing is to sieve some dust, which means we need to break cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand and sand into dust. The gravel is done. Here are the results, which are fantastic. Anyways, let's put in the dust and let's get some dust you get dust from dust all right guys next thing i want to do is set up a structure crafter to craft for transformation powder i want three by three area filled with chests like a so then i want an output chest and shift right click the structure crafter on the output chest so that the arrow goes from these chests to the output chest and a lever now next i want to connect some item pipes to the chest like a so and then disconnect everything between them like a so then this can go here Let's see yes perfect whitelist some flint so the flint goes into this chest all right i have set up these four the cross let's say chests one two three and four and they are all connected with one pipe network one is not this we need to reconnect let's connect this one perfect and let's set the input from here and this needs to be set to pebbles all right and the third one the corner chests i again i have connected them all <laughs> now again guys this is a poor man's setup let's say and if we go like a so well we can go to the bottom actually but just don't forget to disconnect this pipe this the third one will be dust perfect okay now let's actually get a type of each pebble hopefully hopefully these are all the types we will ever need we just go to the filter add the filter don't forget that like so shift left click and you should have all the pebbles now if i place pebbles like so and of course don't forget like i did to set these filters on round robin this one the pebble one and the dust one we get back my pebbles they should all be in one chest yep all right get all my pebbles flint and dust just transfer it right here all right guys so if i open up this chest they actually should all have a bit of what they need and this means this structured crafter will craft wood transformation powder for us now let's test it out perfect Poor transformation powder is being crafted for us. And then I believe we need to put this into lava. So the next thing we need to do is set up some lava production, which is quite easy with the resource generator and the crucibles. We're going to dig out a small hole. There's a stone generator here and actually fill it with cobblestone because it goes faster. Three campfires, three fire crucibles, and then we need some item pipes. Remove that. They like us so set this to output and round through these are now slowly but surely making some lava next thing we need is some barrels with pipes going from the crucibles into the barrels and item pipes going from the poor transformation powder chest output into the barrels all right guys the wood barrels are not working for some reason maybe stone barrels will work hopefully all right of course that works <laughs> so yeah i got slightly confused because when you click on this the thingy shows you all the barrels anyways 
before the item pipes we've got all organic matter which is amazing now we just need to output it all right now if we put a chest here we should of course we shouldn't because we haven't set this to output now this outputs poor organic matter which is amazing guys now flint mesh I believe we got this right here perfect never be back now we'll need an item collector and i'm also going to make nine click machine i mean you can go with just one but i'm going with nine and of course you'll need nine meshes at this point we can upgrade them to flint actually got some iron 67 we might as well use it oh nine times six 54 <laughs> that's amazing let's let's actually do it guys why why not moist all right we got iron meshes no 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 i want some item pipes here all right guys i actually want the pipes to go like this you don't need to disconnect them then two pipes like this the click machines and then i want the sieves on top like i saw with the meshes that is perfect uh we are already progressing guys very nice but i want a chest right here and a basic item collector going like a soul. This is perfection, guys. Perfection. Nice. We already got some stuff. How many pieces do we need? We need four. That's amazing, guys. What's this thing doing? It's uh, going very slow. How can we increase this? Fire crucible. Let's see. Oh, block of coal times 40. That's amazing. Soon we will have some coal. Actually, we got the first block. This is amazing. Okay. We can replace one campfire. And this will make lava much, much faster, which is amazing. Which means more poor organic, organic matter. That's amazing. Guys. Then, guys, what I want to do is, first of all, compress the copper pieces into copper, into raw copper, and tin pieces into raw tin, and the mini coal into coal. I've set up two outputs. This one is going to be mini coal, just so it is... Um, Symmetrical, I've placed 9 by 9 for both sides. Then set this to output. Or at least mini coal. And then this side, which is gonna go with these four chests. Add a pipe upgrade and filter in pieces and copper pieces. And of course, guys, one thing that I always forget. <laughs> Round robin. Round robin. Noise. Alright, then I will set two output chests and structured rafters facing in the output chests it's a lever turn them on this way we should get we need all right guys unfortunately this uh, doesn't work perfectly because i got some tin pieces stuck in here and therefore the crafter cannot do anything so basically i've got all my copper pieces not doing anything well that means we just need three of those three structured crafters all right guys i fixed it so now we got more chests more structured crafters one for tin one for copper and one for coal and it's working perfectly fine it's amazing guys which is amazing also i added some more resource generators generating cobble because these things um we're not keeping up what oh that's cheating guys it's supposed to be 42 ducks not one Alright, next thing I want is a set of solar cookers, reflectors, is their speed, like I saw, and then shining diamonds on top of them to work at night as well, like I saw. And I want an output round robin, like I saw, perfect, for the copper, and I will do the same for the tin, that is amazing guys, amazing. And then of course I want to set up output, boom. Oh, oh, awesome guys, we got tin and copper. Nice. Alright guys, I also want to gather some poor organic matter for the quest line. I'm doing it by hand, like I so. saw. And then the quest line also needs 16 coal, 8 copper and 8 tin. Right, let's prepare for your ears to be destroyed guys. Check mark. Nice. <laughs> Compression dynamo, jet ski, axolotls and this. GE calculation, item calculator craft. I'm not sure what that is. Missing item. What is this? Okay. Well, I don't know what that is. Jet ski. I'm guessing next episode. Now, 
we need to set up the flux hammers all right guys get a stack and a stack of tin and copper and we need well if we need a hammer does it go like a so yes it does can we use this glass if we can guys would be fantastic let me actually test it no we can useless glass all right flux hammer noise basic fluid tank can do that as well action and then energy pipe perfect noise organic matter sub chapter complete now guys i wanted to actually make a small setup here with flux hammers going into a sieving gravel and dust so that we've got the wood transformation powder automated we got so much of it i'm not sure if i want to automate it i'll think about it <laughs> the thing that I'm eager to test is actually if we can transform this golden equipment and iron equipment into iron and gold. All right, guys, one thing I should have bought much, much earlier is time in a bottle. Now this will store time in it and we can actually apply it on uh, machines so they work faster. All right, guys, let's see. This is a temporary setup. I want blocks of coal like a so fire crucibles on them like a so and then i would like stone generators to provide stone into them now this one needs a stack of cobblestone the other one a lock of copper and just place it right here you appear here this should increase the speed now these guys will make lava which we then are going to transfer into a basic fluid tank Oh, well, by the time I moved this thing here, um, yeah, it's almost the tank is almost full. Now this guy will make energy. Now I need a multi-servo press. I need some, like a so perfection. Now will this power this thing? It does. Noise. And now I will need sixteen plates. Sixteen plates, not sixteen plates. <laughs> and uh, one copper plate. All right, we got what we needed. There's goes like a so two furnaces and we got an induction smelter which is fantastic guys now moment of truth guys moment of truth let's place it here let's get it some energy like a so this should be okay no no it's only the front i guess it's only the front do it like a so then all right let's actually test it moment of truth guys moment of truth it is working oh my god oh my god we get three gold now <laughs> yes all right guys iron not too much but it's something oh no oh no unfortunately i have to do it by hand okay well i'll do it it's good source of iron guys all right guys i'm also doing the shovels and iron swords we almost have a stock this is amazing all right guys uh i'm doing something quiet it's unnecessary maybe but i like it i like it and i want to do it i want to do it now so let me just finish with the piping okay this goes here here connect that okay perfect <laughs> i'll i'll explain i'll explain all right let me check yes 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 <laughs> now some of you may understand what is going on i've done four induction smelters and i'm going to pipe out all the golden items from here into this chest and then this chest will distribute the items into boots leggings chest plate and helmet and this will all go into the induction smelters and will be crafted into gold now i've done this because if you combine two of them like helmet and chest it doesn't work but if you only have helmets for example then it does work no leggings no leggings oh my god that's so nice but we got this chest as well guys it's all gucci got tons of equipment <laughs> all right guys well we'll definitely have a lot of gold i am not sure if we'll ever need that much gold <laughs> But it's still, it's free. Why not make it, take it, I don't know, whatever you want. Alright guys, first thing we can do with the gold is actually upgrade. Iron chests. Gold chests. It's amazing. That's amazing. Let's see. That's the iron one. That's the gold one. Oh damn. That's nice. Now the next thing is, uh, but I'm not sure if we need to, we can actually make storage gold upgrades. Well, I guess I made 12. We could have made a stack, but I don't think that's necessary. Now, let's see. Will we ever need so many things? I don't think we will. I don't think we will, but I might as well upgrade it. Rotten flesh. 
gunpowder and one string all right guys i cleaned up the messy setup and because we processed all the gold items we got so much gold basically this thing is doing exactly what i showed you before but it's more compact and now the only items that can clog mob farm would be be yeah kind of some iron shovels iron swords swords diamonds some chickens glow dust sorry glowstone i mean i can put a drawer for glowstone feathers and chicken but i don't think i'll just keep a watch and then this huge setup i've used a new compression dynamo without the augments and basically a small setup which is making cobblestone transforming it into lava lava is being stored in a tank and then it's going into the dynamo making energy but because these guys have a buffer and this guy has a buffer i don't think we'll ever run out of energy for these four guys so this is infinite gold all right guys so by the time i finished off with this setup and clearing up the ur organic matter powder has been finished and i have no dust left so it's time to set up some flux hammers all right guys i'm going to set up automatic production of dust gravel and also automatic sieving now i will need three flux hammers for the dust and one flux hammer for the gravel and also guys i believe i can make two flux sieves which need a lot of iron but we got some iron from the cheaty setup we've done actually nothing cheaty now we'll need four blocks of iron two hoppers and i believe one set of iron bars will do it and now we can get Two flux sieves. Perfect. Moist. guys all right guys actually let's make some bronze i didn't want to go into bronze in this episode but i want to transform this poor man's setup into a better setup let's actually use the time in a bottle hmm. nice i believe this is enough bronze for now i need a sequential fabricator Right, we can replace this thing, this whole setup. All right, this is cleaned up. I also placed a resource generator with stone with a block of gold on top, which makes this generate cobblestone faster. Right, sequential fabricator. Then I want to set the output downwards so the output goes to this chest. And then I want poor transformation recipe, like so. Next, I want to test if this chest will provide the sequential fabricator with items. So let's see if Link does. Ooh, very nice. So it does go inside. So you set these sides on input and enable the auto input. Now this chest will provide items to the sequential fabricator. And then I want one flux sieve here and one flux sieve here. Perfect. Get some meshes inside there. Right. Should be like a so. Basically, this is the output, guys. This side. I'm not sure what this is. So we got one processing cobble into gravel, sand, dust, and then this one into gravel. So this will sieve gravel. This will see uh, sieve dust now my question is does the resource generator consider the flux hammer as an output invent if this turns blue perfect it does it does very nice so we just go like a so and we also place a block of gold on top for it to work faster very nice now we just need power so power will go like a so yep and like a so and then we need a compressed dynamo noise now this needs some lava input to like a so very nice it's working now this needs lava input as well <laughs> all right guys i've set up the fired crucibles and now we got some lava generation which is going away very fast because these guys 
eat a lot of energy all right guys so this idea is not working because the sequential fabricator is getting clogged with these items with the stone and flint as you can see here and when the dust comes in it doesn't work but anyways i could have replaced this but i actually had an idea and i'm basically going to move this from horizontal to vertical and i've created my idea in a creative world and i've used a copy paste gadget to see how many blocks i need so i'm quickly going to remove all that all right guys now after clearing up we got almost everything i just had to make some more item pipes i believe and i will also make one more compression dynamo one more flux sieve and 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 what do you call it an induction smelter for bronze basically it's the horizontal setup but vertical here it is now let's start All right. This induction smelter will receive copper and tin and convert it into bronze. All right, here is where our power will be generated. These resource generators are more convenient for my setup. And we need five stacks of cobble to go into each one. Then I want some item pipes from the crucibles outputting lava into two tanks like a so and from these one two three into three compression dynamos like a so now i want solar cookers placed like a so perfect and of course i want to insert this right here and right here and shining blocks of diamonds on top yeah very nice now i want the output of the solar cookers to be on round robin as well because i want some of the results to go into the compacting drawers and some of them i want to go into the induction smelt yep perfect all right then i want an output here so that's gonna be nine by nine I actually place this here then this needs to be yeah, the output will be here here structure crafter on top so and levers we can actually turn them on then we want eight chests right and then four chests so four chests because so perfect then all this needs to have an item input this set must be disconnected so this is one set this is one set and this is another set then I want to chest right here connected to all systems and again don't forget to disconnect this too output output and out basically somewhere i have the filters ready i just need to find them and no all right tin pieces works and copper pieces nice and actually this one last one one come on please let me click let me click nice this was mini coal perfect so mini coal goes here in copper or tin and copper doesn't matter then a flag sieve on this chest don't forget the mesh now of course all of these need to have power don't forget that Hurry nice don't forget to i oh know to set them on out and i believe we can actually round robin them i'm not sure if uh, that will help but i did it it was okay right next this flag sieve needs an input and the input is going to be poor organic matter i want four stone barrels to go like a so and of course set these out these need lava this need to have fluid pipe like a so then i want to set up oops nope well, I'll pick this up later. This need to have fire crucibles like a so. And let's pick up this one. Oh, please, please. All right, there you go. And then coal blocks underneath. Very nice. And then coal generators. Sorry. <laughs> Resource generators right here with an item pipe. And round robins 
Perfection. Oh, and of course, where's our cobblestone? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't have enough time. Did I delete it? I guess I did. One, two, three, four. Oh, this looks nice already. This looks nice already. A stack of cobble here, a stack of cobble here. Perfect. Then I want a chest right here. Oops. Oh, come on. Hey. Just kidding. Then I want the chest right here. No, the chest to go one higher. Some pipes like so. Disconnect this because this is our output. Place the chest here. And this set to output and control. Perfect. Then our fourth and final structure crafter shift right click on the chest provided with a lever and activate. Then I need nine chests. Action, 10 pipes. Hmm. Can I do it, guys? Let's see. Am I a noob? Ah, I am a noob. <laughs> all these need to have item pipes. They all must be disconnected. Like a so. And then I want a chest here. Maybe putting the chest one higher will solve, solve the problem. Let's see. Perfect. Then. Not this, not this one either. Hmm. Wait, I got a stone pebble. Hopefully I didn't place the stone pebble filter somewhere else because that's going to be a problem. Anyway, so these guys, the cross ones. Oh my God. Well, let's see. Nice. I gotta get another pebble. It's going to be dust. Perfect. And the other one is set. Now, actually guys, remove this, there's a chest here, sieve here, remove this, this is going to be our dust one, yeah, much better, much better, let's remove this as well, Perfect. and this is going to be our flint one, flint and stone pebble, now, oh come on Serge, let's see if I can make it to this ladder, oh yeah, oh, I made it, oh my god, such a pro guys, such a pro, just kidding, I need this guys. I need these guys. Do I have everything? I have the resource generators. <laughs> Let's go back. Alright, just so I don't fall. <laughs> this one just needs one flux hammer. How about this? Yeah, perfect. This is the output. Now it needs some cobble. And I don't have cobble. One point I will die. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right, I placed the dust seed slightly to the side so I can fit three of those here. Come on, dude. Like a soul. And the last thing I need, stone generators. So, and gold on top. Perfect. This will make them twice as fast. Got the power cable coming all the way here. And all these guys need power. Target here. Yes, I can. Action. Very nice. Very nice. Now all these guys should be receiving power. Let me see if everything is working. This guy seems to be working. And we're gain gaining some RF, which is good. Okay, these guys are working. This is amazing. Let's play some... What do you call it? Luminous glass. Like so. Okay, everything seems to be working. It's set to output. Yes, it is. Why is this empty? Oh, that's not okay. Perfect. That's why you, you always have to double check, guys. Always have to double check. Set this to output. Very nice. Is this set to output? Yes, it is. Should be working. Yes, it is working. Very nice. Very nice. Now, next stage. Oh my god. I just poked myself. Alright guys, final thing to do, final thing to do, but I guess it wasn't the chest that sucks, it was just me.
So slightly different approach. And this is what I have done in my creative work, but I hooked up right. So the row copper will go into two solar cookers and the row tin will go to solar cookers from this side, which is perfect. And then of course I forgot to supply energy to the induction smelter, which I did now. And then this guy is not working because I have a block here. If I remove it, it should, oh no, 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 please stop, please stop. Yep, this should make coal, which is amazing, which is amazing. And this is working. That's amazing. That is amazing. Now, nice because I actually want some of this because I want some of it to go. Oh, it did go. Nice. Yes, this is what I wanted. Perfect. Uh, why did I have another drawer? I don't remember. Well, that's it then, guys. That's amazing. We got we got it automated. Nice. This thing is working sometimes. In and copper go into drawers. We got the coal automated, which is fantastic. And I don't think there will be any problems, to be honest. Everything should be working perfectly fine. Let's have a look at this beast. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, guys. I cleaned it up, I've placed some light blocks, luminous glass I mean, and yeah, this is our beast that is making us copper, tin and bronze, nice, it's uh, what do you call it, it's, it's a skeleton, now I won't have time today to transform this, I have an idea, maybe something themed like this one, but in a tower, and then duplicate that and place another tower there, right there, maybe another one here and one there but I, i'll see maybe you can write down your ideas below and yeah just let me know because this thing cannot stay like that this is the skeleton it needs to be covered up and beautified but yeah guys this is looking amazing this is looking amazing all right guys just for you just so you can have a good look check this beast out isn't it amazing isn't it amazing guys <laughs> it looks absolutely fantastic so guys let me explain once again what we did we've got dust sieving into more dust and we got gravel sieving into flint and pebbles which are then filtered into these chests and crafted by the structured crafter into some poor organic powder, which is then being transformed into the stone barrels, which have lava made by these fire crucibles and resource generators with stone, putting stone into the fire crucibles. And basically the powder is then transformed into poor organic blocks which are sieved in this flux sieve as you can see we have 58 poor organic matter and this block is actually not the flux sieve is not keeping up and oh just found a problem guys we need to take out the coal from here yeah i believe i can do it this way anyways then this guys the Poor organic matter creates four outputs, coal, tin pieces, copper pieces, and mini coal. The mini coal is crafted into coal right here in the middle, and the tin and copper pieces are crafted into raw copper and raw tin, which are then transported into sun cookers like a so, and they are crafted into copper ingots and tin ingots. Now some of them are going in the drawer controller and are stored here and some of them are going into the induction smelter and they are being transformed into bronze. And that's it guys, that is our beast. <laughs> Noise. Alright guys, well this is it for this episode. 
I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope to see you in the next one. Now guys, if you made it this far, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. This will help me. This helps us creators to keep going, to keep doing stuff that we do for you guys. And yeah, if a lot of you subscribe to me, maybe at one point I can upload daily. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you will come back and and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.